Hey everyone, welcome back to Bucky's Customs. Hey, a few weeks ago I made this charcuterie board and I never got around to giving it to the rifle owner and I thought, well, why don't we personalize it for her? And so that's what we're going to do in this video. I'm going to open up Easel Pro and I'm going to show you how I created the design and actually carved it in the board using our long mill. So stay tuned. typically would go to Easel Pro or to CarveCo and create the file that we're going to be carving. In this case, you all have seen me do SVGs and JPEGs, that kind of thing in Easel. It's pretty easy. You import it and you manipulate it and it's very simple to do. There's a few videos that I've done uh, where I can direct you to checking those out and then, you know, for instruction on how to create both in CarveCo and Easel Pro. But in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight G Sender. I really like this program. I was using UGS before. Uh, this is something that CNC Labs has. Uh, put together for us and it is leaps and bounds better than the UGS program that we were using. I have yet to have a failure with this. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to have a failure on this because computers are computers, you know. They have glitches and every once in a while you cut through a handle and I get that. So um, there are reasons for everything. I agree to that too. So we did find that in the previous video that, um, and I'll put a link to that in the description if you want to go take a look at that, where we cut through the handle. And it wasn't intentional and uh, I caught it just in time, otherwise it would have cut the board in half. But it was found that I had been running an older version with a known problem. I was unaware of that and once I upgraded I didn't have any issue, but then I I quickly changed to G Sunder. So basically what we need to do when you open up uh, G Sunder is we need to make sure our machine's turned on and you just heard the click. I turn the machine on. We're gonna connect. Come up here and connect and it usually gives you that clunk. So and everything lights up on the screen. Now I exported to a G code file from Easel Pro and <clears throat> we're going to import that file now. So basically I'm going to go grab it here and we're going to open it. And then you're going to see how it comes in. Now I zeroed on the center of the board and during the video you can see that I've got a little tiny X in the center of the board where I wanted this carving to happen. So as you can see on the screen here you got the the boot of Italy, the whole country, a few of the islands and all that is based on the starting point right here in the center and the reason why it's down there is because now I'm picking the center of my board to start. So instead of putting it all up in here and having this be the starting point, it would I've made this mistake before. You don't want to it'll go off the the material because it'll go way to the right or way to the left, whichever orientation you've got it. But this is how you would carve something in the center of your board. I know most of you know that. I just, for those that don't, now you know. So, what we've got to do now is we've got to do a Z 
set up and I'm gonna do it with a piece of paper and I've already found the center of the board I marked it with an X I'm gonna line up my my router to that my bit and set zero there and we'll go from there so let's move this around here get in position and I like to use the thumb screw on the Z axis in order to do the height of the Z you know get it close if I'm going to use a touch probe then I just screw it down by hand uh, it's just a lot quicker I love that feature about this I might even put a little handle on the top of that who knows someday I might do that but anyway we get it close and then I like to get my X and Y set first then set my Z and from there we will be ready to carve. So let's let me get in position here. We're gonna crank this down a little bit, get it where we want it. Use a piece of paper. Okay. Set that up now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here and we're going to zero the X, the Y, and the Z. Just like that. Now all we got to do is turn the machine on and start the job. Okay, you hit start and she takes off. So in this carve, I took a board, a charcuterie board that I had already put the finish on. I had already dipped it in mineral oil so you can tell by the carving that it looks a little bit different than a typical carving and that's the reason it uh, the woods kind of wet from the mineral oil but it was an afterthought and doesn't do any harm to do this so that's kind of the the nice deal about maybe making a few of these ahead of time and you know personalizing them for the individual that you want to give it to but um, as you can see it didn't take long to do the carve we're gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put my um, company name on the back and then we're going to take a little scotch bright pad now that's really all we need to do and dress it up with a scotch bright pad take all the burrs off blow the excess dust off with an air hose and redo the mineral oil and you'll see that in just a bit but uh, I think this one came out pretty good Well, there you go folks that did not take long our long mill performed as usual I love that machine go to cnc.com cnc.com and check out this great machine you'll be happy you did I love how we can create projects and personalize them like that for anyone we don't have to order it we don't have to call somebody and say hey can you no we can do it ourselves with a long mill if you like this video please subscribe to my channel it really helps us produce videos and make sure you ring the bell so that you can get notified when I produce another video thank you for watching until next time be safe out there